hello everyone so today we're going to see the maximum sum subarray problem so basically in this problem we're given an array of integers with negative and positive integers and we have to find a subarray such that the sum of all those elements will be the maximum possible so we can either take this subarray we can take this subarray we have to take any continuous subarray and the sum of that should be the maximum possible so a naive approach would be to take two loops, i is equal to 0 to n, j is equal to 0 to n, and consider all the possible subarrays. So eventually we'll find the answer, but however, as we're using two loops, both 0 to n, our time complexity will come O of n square, j is equal to i to n actually. So the time complexity will become O of n square, which is not the best that we can do. So on seeing a divide and conquer approach, we can do better immediately and we can get O of log n, which is way better than O of n square. So in divide and conquer approach, like we use in word sort, we're going to divide the array in two parts. Or before dividing, what we're going to do is we're going to return three values. We're going to find three values, LSS, RSS, and CSS. LSS is the left sum subarray, RSS is the right sum subarray, and CSS is the crossing sum subarray. So LSS, the subarray which will have the maximum value will either be on the left or the right, or it can be crossing the middle. So we have to find or return the maximum of LSS, RSS, and CSS. We have to return the maximum of this. So for LSS, on recursively, we can divide the array as minus 2, minus 5, 6, minus 2, and on the right, minus 3, 1, 5, minus 3. We can further divide the array as minus 2, minus 5, and 6, minus 2. And here also, minus 3, 1, and 5, minus 6. And we can still divide it as minus 2, minus 5, 6, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 5, and minus 6. So these all are the individual elements that we are left with after dividing the array continuously. So for, the, for this part, the LSS and the CSS and the RSS will be minus 2 as we only have one element. So this will return minus 2 as we're returning the max of LSS, RSS or CSS. So this will return minus 2. So LSS of this subarray right here will be minus 2. And likewise, this will return minus 5 as it's, it's the only single element. So for this array, LSS will be minus 2. RSS will be minus 5. Now, for finding the CSS or the crossing sum subarray, like this is L, this is R, what we have to do is we have to find the mid, which is L plus R by 2, and we have to go from mid to the left and mid plus 1 to the right. And we have to find the maximum value continuously on the left or on the right and return the sum of that. So here on the left we have minus 2, and on the right we have minus 5. So the sum will be minus 7. So CSS is minus 7. So for this array, among LSS, CSS, and RSS, minus 2 is the greatest value to, we have. So this will return minus 2 for this array. So for this array, LSS is minus 2. For this array, LSS is minus 2. Likewise, on the right, this will return 6. So its LSS will be 6. This will return minus 2, as it's the one element itself. So RSS will be minus 2, LSS will be 6. So here we have 6 and minus 2. And for the CSS, when we go on the right, we get minus 2. We go on the left, we get 6. Sum is 4. So CSS is 4. So among LSS, CSS and RSS, 6, 4 and minus 2, 6 is the maximum. So this will return 6. So for this array, RSS is 6 LSS is minus 2 and for finding the CSS we go on the right 6 plus minus 2 the best we can get is 
4. We go to the left, minus 5, minus 2, minus 7, which is lesser. So we take minus 5. And minus 5 plus 4, minus 1. So CSS is minus 1. So LSS will be minus 2, RSS will be 6, CSS will be minus 1 for this array. So the maximum among that is obviously 6. So for this, mag for our main subarray or our main array, the LSS will be 6. Now, likewise, we can calculate on the right hand side for this LSS will be minus 3, RSS will be 1. For this, LSS will be 5, RSS will be minus 6. And CSS here will be minus 2, CSS here will be minus 1. So eventually, so for this array, eventually this will return 5 this will return 1 which is the maximum possible and so LSS for this array will be 1 RSS will be 5 and finding the CSS we go towards the left we'll get 5 we'll go towards the right we'll get 5 we go towards the left we'll get 1 1 plus 5 is 6 so CSS will be 6 so for this array RSS is 5 and CSS is 6 LSS is 1 the maximum among those is 6 so this will return 6. So for our main array, LSS is 6, RSS is also 6, which is true as the subarray you get on the right is 1 plus 5, 6, and on the left you get 6 itself. Now what about the crossing subarray, CSS? So we start from mid plus 1, we go towards right. Minus 3 plus 1, we get minus 2. Minus 2 plus 5, we get 3. And minus 6 will only reduce it, so 3 on the right for CSS. We go towards the left, minus 2 plus 6 will get 4, and 4 minus 5 it will only reduce it, so we keep it as 6. So on the left for CSS we get 3, we get 4, minus 2 plus 6 we get as 4. So for left we're getting 4, for right we're getting 3. As I said, we return the sum for CSS. So 4 plus 3 sum is 7. So finally, for the main subarray, what we're getting is RSS, which came from the right hand side. That is 6. LSS, which we got from the left hand side, is also 6. And the CSS, the subarray crossing the middle, we got as 4 plus 3, 7. So among those, the maximum of this 7, 6, 6 is obviously 7. So 7 will be returned for the main array. Now we can also see the same thing with just a little observation that if we take from here 6 minus 2 we get 4 minus 3 we get 1 plus 1 we get 2 plus 5 we get 7 so this is the subarray with the maximum possible so algorithmically what we're doing is for LSS we're simply returning by recursion for the RSS we're simply re simply returning using recursion and we get individual elements we're returning that itself so for the CSS what we're doing is we're saying we're finding mid which is L plus R by 2 this is for CSS of each subarray so finding mid that is L plus R by 2 and we're going from mid plus 1 to R, the last, and here we're going mid to 0, and we're keeping a variable left, and we're keeping a variable right. So we keep adding left, this is i is equal to, this is j is equal to. So we keep, add, we keep adding left is equal to left plus a of i. And we keep adding right is equal to a of j and for right max we're keeping another variable right max and if right is ever greater than right max we update right max as that so right max will get the maximum value continuously from the right likewise left max will get the maximum value from the left and some of that left max plus right max will give 
the CSS. So making a comparison between CSS, which we found using this algorithm, and RSS, which we found using recursion, and LSS, we can find the maximum value possible for the subarray. 